What normally would be tossed out as medical waste after childbirth could save a life. And that was the case for one Seattle woman. And I started having what felt like uh, asthma attacks. Alexis Harris is a professor of sociology at the University of Washington. In 2016, after getting her symptoms checked out, she was diagnosed with a rare blood cancer. It was MDS. It was aggressive, life-threatening, um, 18 to 24 months to live. As a mother of two, the news was devastating. Any, when you're faced with death, any time with your kids um, matters. She immediately turned to treatment options. A search in a database for a bone marrow transplant showed no matches, not even with her twin brother. For Harris, whose father was black and Filipino, and her mother, white, finding a match was a challenge. We are so underrepresented on the, on the bone marrow registry. Us being African American, Asian American, Native American, Latinx, um, and then if you're you have any intersections of those identities, we have a very very low likelihood of finding matches, something like 20 to 30 percent. Harris's doctor then suggested an alternative: a transplant using stem cells from cord blood. It literally saved my life. When a baby is born, the umbilical cord that connects baby to the mother's placenta is clamped, then cut. For cord blood donation, the blood is collected from the severed cord, then tested and cryogenically preserved to collect stem cells. Those cells are then used for treating more than 70 different conditions, such as blood disorders like leukemia. It really does not impact the mom or baby at all. Evan DeLay is a former labor and delivery nurse and works at Bloodworks Northwest, a nonprofit blood bank. DeLay donated her and her baby's cord blood when her baby was born this year. And for her, the decision to donate it was a no brainer. It's such a simple thing you can do to potentially save a life with something that you would otherwise dispose of as medical waste. So you're basically turning trash into a life saving treatment. DeLay says the donation is confidential. Harris knows she can't contact whoever donated their cord blood for her stem cell transplant, but she compares the donor mom and baby to a hero. You know, what better a way to start the, the first day of your child's life by having them be a superhero and, and save somebody else's life.